dad has always been chasing big, audacious goals. Dad's got such a long way to go, he doesn't know what he doesn't know. It's not feasible. This year, next year makes more sense. Hi, I'm Lowell Shepard on board sailing vessel Wakine at Gypsy 4R2. And this is Pacific Solo. I'm preparing for the greatest challenge of my life to sail solo across the North Pacific from Tokyo to Vancouver. My journey will take me to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and to the point farthest from land in any direction, a set of coordinates I call Nemo North. From there, I will turn towards Canada to reunite with my 92-year-old mother. And I want to take you on this voyage with me via this channel. So join me on this Pacific solo expedition I'm still trying to grasp how scary it should be when Dad's out in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, completely at the mercy of the ocean and the weather. You know, it's not like going to the moon. This has been done before. People are probably doing it right now. We learn as much as we can before he goes from those who've gone before us. He realized that he's not skilled enough to sail in six meter waves, at least close to shore. The auto helm is slightly out of alignment and that's everything because he needs that in order to sleep. And third, legalities. Leaving Japanese waters, getting into Canadian waters. Others have done it much more simply, but that is a man of integrity. He's going to do it in a clean and fully compliant manner. So when dad left Oshima, we were still in a state of mind that he's going to Okinawa. And when we saw the GPS becoming inconsistent and showing, you know, showing up over land and the rocks. There was a bit of weightlessness for a minute. What I hope that people can get out of this as well is to be inspired to be them. Mo has been a very inspirational figure. I never really imagined that I would start something different. Challenging when you're over 60 years old is something that I never thought about. I figured, okay, you know, I can take up martial arts, fitness, but all of these things were things that I had been doing all along, and it was just a matter of improvement. Got my license, and now I'm uh, practicing solo sailing. Crossing the Pacific is something that I had never thought about in my life. Without a lot of knowledge of the sea, you set a goal and decided this is what I'm going to do. When you're sailing alone, there's no one to jump in and help you. Everything is on you. It was frightening at first. And when I did it, it was such a rush. My heart was just pounding. Each time it gets a little bit easier. The initial rush on that first experience though was like something I've never felt for years. If you're not ready, you're not ready. To admit that you're not ready is a big step. I never set out with a grand scheme to, to inspire. I just wanted to chronicle and bring attention to the oceans and give my grandson something to be proud of. I left Tokyo on March the 4th with the full intent of having this practice sailed to Okinawa. Then sailed, I think it was on March 8th to Oshima, which was a really rough crossing. Quite turbulent seas and I had to be very mindful as I came in and arrived there exhausted. Then decided rather than Okinawa, I want a shorter journey voyage. So I planned this 30 hour voyage to Mie. I realized that without the auto helm, and the AIS, I just could not solo, that the boat wasn't ready, and I was so glad I aborted plans to go five to seven days to Okinawa. My mindset changed, that no longer was it a race in time to be ready to leave in June. It's now just slowing down and, and just enjoy sailing, and enjoy the Japanese coastline. I needed a crew now for a time, and I needed to get my boat recertified. Then I decided just to harbor hop and to slow things down. It's been a wonderful couple weeks cruising Kihanto. It's a World Heritage Site. Kihanto is the country of the gods, and it really was a beautiful, dramatic coastline. Walking back from the train station two kilometers up this cove to the boat, and suddenly this old lady comes running up the street behind me 
and she just brings me a bag full of cake from her bakery, just being kind to a stranger. And then we sailed to Kushimoto, where we tied up in the fishing port. As soon as we tied up, suddenly this Coast Guard senior officer comes running towards me with six younger officers waving me down. He saw me as a training exercise, but all my papers were in order. No longer driven by a date to cross the Pacific. It's really heightened the enjoyment level and I think made it safer. April has been happier than March. I've taken the pressure off myself when I shared the update with the shore support team. There's about 20 people on that list. Without exception, they were relieved. You know, without the auto helm working, I needed somebody at the helm, so I took on one or two crew members. I let go of the notion of doing it solo this year, but then I thought, well, maybe I could train in British Columbia, still cross the Pacific this year with a crew, and then solo back. And the bugbear was the registration for the boat. I ran out of time, plus complications with the crew, etc. I'll cruise Japan for the year. And as soon as I made that decision, that in itself was enjoyable because now I really moved from racing to enjoying. One needs to stop and enjoy and ponder and reflect. This whole experience with Pacific Solo, I've now slowed it down. You're forced to slow down when you enter port. When sailing, you have to live with uncertainty. My crew is leaving me now. I'm looking forward to being solo again. And I'm looking forward to having crew and patrons and supporters join me from time to time as well. There are still some outstanding fears, but I feel they're within grasp and I feel ready to, to meet them. I've made decisions which changes the course of action. I realized when I got to Shima Yacht Harbor and then I've sailed the Kihanto, I was just exhausted. I feel refreshed at the moment. But I've been away from my boat three days now. I've got another couple days on this trip, but I'm missing Wahime. I want to get back. not going to let the fear be the obstacle. Autopilot doesn't work, the wind indicator doesn't work. I can't really see clearly beyond it. Highs will be higher and lows will be lower.